countable maker. Well, as some of you suggested, like a lot of you suggested actually, it's kind of literally impossible to use because of how complex it is. Which is kind of true, I mean, just the videos I made just don't give you any information whatsoever on how to use the thing properly and in an efficient way. So here today, in this official tutorial, let's see how to use the program properly to make the best countable animation ever. Well, well, well. Here's that tutorial, okay. So first off, you need to click here, this download. No, li literally, just click right now, right now, there. Click, click here, it's an annotation. Click, it will download your thing, but anyways. Normally, Avast just tells you to stop because it's a virus, it isn't, and I'm going to prove it. Uh, even though, why would I even, like, make a countable maker that would be a virus. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I put it on, I just, I just downloaded it here. It's right there on my uh, desktop. Is that how you call it in English? Okay. So, yeah, that's what it happens. Okay, so just execute it. Now wait for the loading and Mm -mm. Now, as you can see, it has created this effect.png right at the side. Uh, we'll use it later. This is an, exploit an, an exploitable file, I explain later. But first off, we'll need to choose a flag. So, for example, uh, let's say Ethiopia, for example, let's just say uh, there. That's just what happens here. We got a, a sphere, so we can move it, but we don't we don't care about that sphere. We it's ugly. We want it to be more more or less like some something that is watchable. You can press P, and then what is it? Okay, just transform it to a paper mode. That's how you do it, and then. For this flag, I need to keep aspect ratio so that the star is the great size. As you can see now, it's actually a pretty decent base for my uh, countable, but I need a border. So what do I do? I just press E. But wait, there's a problem. I don't like this effect. It's terrible because I don't like circles and I want to remove this gradient. What do I do? Well, you can mod modify effect.png, so uh, open with paint.net uh, So it's opening, I suppose uh, Yeah, it, it takes even longer to... But that's because I'm recording, normally it doesn't take that much time to load uh, so here I have paint.net, so what I do, uh, I just want to create an entirely new thing. So let's make it transparent so I can see what I can do. So you need to make it the good like size of things, you know. You see what I mean? Because if you draw a random circle, it might not uh, be the right size or something might be too width or too not width for something you don't really care just i just want to get that width because i like this width this is the right width i want just to change the shape so uh, first off it will be much easier for me to do it resizing the drawing size so uh, let's just say i want it 316 slash 316. It's always just take a circle, not a rectangle, so that's why this is. They are the same size. Just made it made me like. A, I don't want this. There you go. I just went away, and I can do the base. So now that I I don't want circles. I prefer having uh, 
not circle like things so I use it this kind of you know uh, line thing to make a circle like shape but that doesn't really resemble anything like so you know what I mean when I when I speak of it you know what I mean exactly uh, also you might have problems with the thing making noises in the background just mute it mute yeah so If if you can make like if you have the patience to make non circle like circles like curves, then you might be able to do this better than me because I I don't have the habitude. I I should be using Photoshop. It was way better to do it this kind of thing with with it. But I don't know. I just I just don't want. I don't just don't want to crack it and show it, show it to you, cracked program. So anyways, so let's get rid of those ugly other borders. And I have a kind of squarey kind of round. You can do it better than me, I, I'm sure you can. So anyways, I have the first one and then the second one. So this is a kind of shape, I don't know, let's just say it just works, I don't know, no, 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 it doesn't. Derp. Wor okay. Well, okay. So you have your shape now, just fill it, then you have your base. There. So, so unpractical, it's unreal, but anyways, here you have your thing and maybe you want a little shadow because it's kind of cool with it. So let's copy. Yeah. Now I don't need my, my base anymore. I know I, I've done well. There, yeah, I think it's going to be good. Uh, but now I only want to draw it in this kind of style. Okay, so... That's a pretty... Okay, so that's XOR, I suppose. Nope, it wasn't XOR, it's subtract. There you go. Okay, so control I, delete. Okay, now I have my uh, control N. Don't forget, you need to make it with the least space, uh, use less space, you know, as possible. You'll see why later. Uh, why, why did it? Oh, fucking hell. Normal. It's, it's freaking hard to use it. Pain up and sometimes it's kind of stupid things happen with it, but you know, get used to it. Anyways, here's your shape. Here. Here you have it. Now I'll, I'll, I'll save it as uh, So I do it, it's .png, not anything else. I think it might be obvious, but I just want to say it. So, replace it as the new thing. Or if you want, you can save it as another file. But it must be the same name. So here I have it. Now you have your new border, and what what you need to do is refresh, uh, so that it actually. Uh, okay. And I have a little problem. You see, there's that little hole there, which is kind of annoying. So 
just need to do is alt plus oh, it's not hold okay so space what is what is it again shift plus arrows fuck i don't remember what is shit <laughs> well i told you that the thing was complicated i don't even remember how you do it shit is it a help no, I haven't made a help manual, fuck it. <sighs> Let's <laughs> Oh wait, actually no, it's actually numpad 4 plus... Okay, I see, okay. So it's kind of complicated, but okay, so... To move your things, uh, look, watch, uh, wait, so it's four, eight, five, and six, okay, uh, <clears throat> so you, four, eight, five, and six, you can actually, for, with five, you can move the down end, the now the, the downer edge, with six, you can move the writer edge with the arrows, with eight you can on your keypad uh, on your keypad uh, just saying but it's on your keypad not anything else and with eight you can move the up part and four you can move the side kind of part okay so now I have a pretty satisfying thing there it looks really like a round so uh, let's save it uh, oh shit I have forgotten to tell you something. I might change this someday, but if you have transparency on the background, which is right now orange, let's see what happens. But I think, as uh, uh, from experience, as I made the thing, there's a lot, a long time I didn't touch it. But uh, save is. Uh, F9. If I to take a screenshot, I'll just, you know, how come I. This is Ethiopia ball. Uh, as I told you, there's something going wrong with the transparency, but don't worry, I'll change this uh, to make it just better so that you can make it sh a shadow to your thing and don't worry <laughs> it's such a old program <laughs> but there are all the other things a lot of other things you can do with this for example uh, because of you know keeping ratio sometimes sometimes it's useful to you know make your ball a 3d sphere or else you know Make it not skip aspect ratio when you need to see the entire flag, or but in this case, you know, you need to keep your ratio. And you know, there are other things, you know, like uh, my YouTube channel. No, this is a kind of shameless. Oh, I, <laughs> I even forgot this one. This one is kind of funny, actually. You can uh, make so that it doesn't look like a, a circle. It can be useful when you use Israel, for example, but you need to change the effect just for that. I don't like doing this, you know. Israel ball team. Team Israel ball. Go with me. <clears throat> what is there else? There, yeah, well, you know, you can change the background color if it's satisfying for you to... But, you know, in future updates, changing the background color will be kind of useless. I'll change the thing to make it better. I promise. <laughs> it's kind of 12 years... Kind of 1 or 2 years old, I don't remember. But anyways, there's a last thing called exports all images of a folder and so on. Normally you don't want to use it, but this is kind of the thing you want to make if you have a ton load of countables to export well, to flags, when you have a lot of flags to export as countables. 
I've already made uh, explain this one in the you know 2.0 kind of thing uh, video, but you know I can re-explain it. Here I have my folder. I want to save it in uh, desktop. I do a lot of those. So for example, I do. I just want to choose one, two, or three. So just one. Here, I, second one is better. And so on, and you can see they just replicate, they just make one another. I'm just not going to... <laughs> I, I love this one. It, it turns into a sphere, it's kind of ugly. It's all... you never want to make a, a, a sphere. Press any other thing, anything other than one, two or three and you get back to the normal thing. And now it is... Okay, that was weird. As you can see, there are a lot of controllers now. I want to add eyes to them. It's always asked to me, how do I make eyes to my things? Well, it's pretty simple. It doesn't work. You know, I, I, I've actually tried to make something. I, didn't, I closed the, the thing by mistake. I have actually tried to make uh, something look good, you know. Let's see. Uh, was a kind of one month ago. I wanted to make something that looked good, but uh, let me show you why I won't add an eye maker, a face maker in the control maker. I, I, if you can load. Help, blah blah blah. <laughs> so, oh shit. <laughs> uh, what, what is it again? To change to be able to go white. Oh my god. <laughs> you see, it's kind of really what you, what you don't want to make. What you don't want to have in your country uh, Let's see this. What is it? B. Change the to 5, I suppose. And then you can... Oh, sh <laughs> What is this? Oh, fuck. Uh, no, it's 5, two. I remember. Uh, it's terrible. It's terrible. So I won't add the face maker on this. But if you really want uh, a face on your thing, you'll need to use, well, you know, that thing yet again called uh, Pay.net. And every uh, single time you need to make a face, you can either use your, uh, your animation program or you can use Pay.net. It's way easier like this. See? See, 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 Okay, so I want to make an angry face. I draw like terrible. Uh, I'm on, when I'm on camera, I just draw like terrible, so. No, but. Just, you know. You have your countables there. And then you draw your faces independently. And you mix all of this in whatever uh, uh, animation program you have. But I won't tell you how to do it. You normally, you do know how you do it. Just make uh, a sequence of images and then you transform them into an animation. Or if you want to make a comic, just draw on top of the faces. You only have your base here. And to make your face, it's only one step beyond. Uh, well, that's kind of... Oh, wait, no, no, no.